Hello, my name is Kevin Hughes. I work at Turnstone. Turnstone empowers people with disabilities to achieve their highest potential by providing comprehensive services and programs. At Turnstone, I am the Sports and Recreation Coordinator. I get to brag that I am the Director of Fun at Turnstone. In the last 10 years, I've been able to develop 46 unique adaptive sports programs, ranging from non-sport opportunities like improv classes or pottery or self-defense classes, to even the more traditional sports like sled hockey, rowing, so on and so forth. Along with running and creating programming, I'm hands-on with the marketing, promoting, and recruiting participants. Then, within our competitive sports, I oversee um, our volunteers for regional and national tournaments we host. Uh, for our larger events, I handle logistics for our track and field competition, as uh, that's a weekend where we host eight sports in three days. Um, so my role needs to change a little bit. Um, then, when we hosted an international qualifier, sorry, then when we hosted an international qualifier for gold ball and judo last summer, we had three different sites um, that we held, held this at with over 500 athletes, um, 40 countries. Uh, so I jumped in and oversaw the gold ball logistics at Turnstone. All in all, really good times. So this is kind of a, a unique uh, question for me because um, I have more typical weeks, and I can predict my year more than I can predict my individual days. Um, typically, I run three to five programs a week. Each program changes every three to six weeks, and some programs are monthly. Uh, from November through February, we typically host seven tournaments, while the remaining year, we um, average out to about one tournament, camp, or clinic per month. And so all that changes each of my days in, in, in retrospect. Um, each workday could be anywhere between four hours to 15 hours a day um, because the majority of our programs and events are during the evenings and weekends. My days often start mid-afternoon during the week while on the weekends um, are often the entire day that includes both early mornings and late at night. In high school, I helped my dad with a small business where I did basic administrative work for him. I didn't know at the time, but this experience shaped the landscape of what I do today, which I still very much enjoy. This is one of many examples where I'm truly grateful that I took advantage of the opportunities that came my way. Finding a career is all about learning about yourself. You learn about yourself through new challenges you take on. So in 15 years, I've had two jobs. I've been blessed that I've been able to find a career that I could still continue to enjoy today. In my last year of college, I earned an internship at another nonprofit. At that time, I was less interested in the actual company. It was more about the opportunity to do all kinds of special projects to gain true work experience, you know, buffing up that resume. The internship was working directly under the CEO of the company, primarily doing special projects for the board of directors. I started doing very simple elementary things like ordering food for events, which later expanded to going uh, to the main library, looking up foundations, 990 forms, and other supporting material that helped the company apply for grants. When you're new in any company, with an internship or job, there's always the beginning time where you're trying to fit in and see where your value is. That was definitely true during my internship. And there's a good chance that that same can happen with you as well. As an intern, it's easy to feel lost or unimportant as you see many great things happening all around you, but your role is very minimum. At least that's, that's what you perceive. What I've learned over time is that the preceding busy work that I was doing truly freed up lots of time for others to accomplish their job. It takes a lot of people. 
uh, to make work happen. No matter what your role is, make the most of it, as others will appreciate it. Ultimately, yes, even though my previous career was working directly with youth with disabilities, while now I'm working with all ages in the sports environment of different disabilities, a lot of the planning and coordinating things are the same. It's very common that coordinators, administrators like me, change their work environments, but daily roles um, of what they do are the same. So I'd say my career path has stayed the same, just the environments have changed. Looking back, I probably could have had a summer career that I have now without going to college, all because of my volunteer experience. Ultimately, having a college degree adds to my experience and opens even more doors even today. But it's important to consider how valuable work ethic is, regardless if you have a, regardless if you have a degree or not. Right after high school, I developed a wheelchair basketball team for kids 8 to 12 years old at Turnstone, where I'm at now. Up to that point, Turnstone and the entire state of Indiana didn't have a competitive wheelchair basketball team for kids that age. I saw the need in the community, and I enjoyed the pursuit of starting something new. Along with that, two years later, I expanded Turnstone's programs as a volunteer again, even further when I helped them start a sled hockey program. Both the basketball and hockey um, times of volunteering, I did all for the same reasons, that there was a need and I enjoyed being involved with behind the scenes work. Overall, this adds up to seven years of volunteering where I took initiative and expanded opportunities uh, for a company I did not work for, just volunteered. This led turns on expanding their staff and added me as their second full-time member of the sports and recreation department. The key ultimately was I volunteered and went above and beyond because it was my passion and I enjoyed it, and I still do. At the end of the day, I could have found a similar career opportunity somewhere else if the cards weren't there for me to be at Turnstone to hire me. I'm glad they did, but the point is, because of my volunteering, um, it, it showed my career strengths. Uh, with that said, there is no question that having a bachelor's degree really in any field is an added factor in getting your foot in the door. Um, but go beyond the, the college. Um, volunteer, get involved, be active. Um, you do not know where it might direct you. I earned my Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. At the time of going to college, I assumed my career would have been more behind the desk than the balance of what I have now of both behind the desk and hands-on. The shift was slight, but it was definitely something I didn't see coming. I also assumed I'd be working typical weekday hours, you know, eight to five. <laughs> My hours now are much more open-ended based on what programs I'm involved with. I'm also glad that I kept an open mind and took advantage of the opportunities that came my way instead of having tunnel vision of only pursuing my original career path. As much as I love my current career, I wish I'd dig deeper into other career pathways. Knowing what I know today, I probably would have started with my therapeutic recreation degree, which is what most people in my field have. Um, with that education background, I could have continued school to become a physical or occupational therapist, which is a field I think I would have also enjoyed and done really well at. If you think you're interested in the career that I'm in, I highly encourage you to check out TeamUSA.org. It has um, not only the opportunities of maybe jumping into the career that I'm in all around the United States, um, but it has all the resources that we use as coordinators um, to be able to do our job at the best. So check it out, TeamUSA.org.